Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. <clears throat> Come back at y'all again with another lesson by Haruka Khurash Al-Maf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of Esau got a lot to pay for. Esau, Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of, the one that's ruling this world in wickedness, he has a whole lot to pay for. Okay. Um, this video stems from I was watching the apostles outside speaking this past week, and after it was over, it automatically started playing the one from last week, and it started like somewhere in the middle. Um, and where it started at, I had already watched that one from last week, but where I had started at, uh, I was at work while I was watching it. So I just let it play, uh, and was re-listening to it. And they was just going in on how King David, you know, how the Lord killed all those Israelites during the time of King David, because he numbered Israel because of the census. All right. And they was just going in on how shit, the Lord can f destroy America just for that. Get rid of this devil just for that. Right. We've seen how the Lord dealt with King David. When he did this act. So how much more when the devil's doing it? This is 2 Samuel chapter 24 and verse 1. It says, And again the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And he moved David against them to say, Go, number Israel and Judah. So right here it's saying that the Lord moved David to go and number Israel. I believe it's in the Chronicles. It says that Satan. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, First Chronicles 21 and verse 1. It says, and Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. Showing you that the Lord is in control of Satan. The Lord is in control of Satan. Satan wasn't on the harp and he was plotting in heaven to take over and he rebelled and took one third of the angels with him and they was cast down. That's that never happened. OK, that's a fable. That's a fairy tale. That's a lie. The Lord is in control of Satan. Satan takes orders from the heavenly father, Yahweh. All right. In the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, put Yahweh Shai in charge over everything. At his name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, including Satan. Satan is beneath Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay, so let's go back to that. What was that? 2 Samuel 24. 2 Samuel 24 and verse 1. And again, the anger through thy precepts, I get understanding. And again, the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel and he moved. So the Lord was mad with Israel. So he sent Satan. Right. To hop on King David. To number the Israelites. Right. And he moved David against them to say, go number Israel and Judah. For the king said to Joab, the captain of the host, which was with him, go now through all the tribes of Israel from Dan even to Beersheba and number ye the people that I may know the number of the people and Joab said unto the king now the Lord thy power add unto the people now so like yeah how many soever they be in hundredfold and that the eyes of my Lord the king may see it but why do if my Lord why do if my Lord the king delight in this thing not with when so Joab was trying to talk some sense in him 
letting him know that it was going off, right? Notwithstanding, the king's word prevailed against Joab and against the captains of the host. And Joab and the captains of the host went out from the presence of the king to number the people of Israel. So we're not going to go into the whole account. We'll start at verse um, 11. Second Samuel 24 and 11, it says, For when David was up in the morning, the word of the Lord came unto the prophet Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and say unto David, Thus saith the Lord, I offer thee three things. Choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto thee. So here's the punishment. Here's the punishment that David and the Israelites received for him doing a census. For him numbering the Lord's people. It says, So Gad came to David and told him and said unto him, Shall seven years of famine come unto thee in thy land? Or wilt thou flee three months before thine enemies while they pursue thee? Or that there be three days pestilence in thy land? Now advise and see what answer I shall return to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. Let us now fall into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great. And let me not fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent a pestilence upon Israel from the morning, even to the time appointed. And there died of the people from Dan, even to Beersheba, to Beersheba, 70,000 men. And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord repented him of the evil and said, so the Lord sent the angel. This particular angel killed 75,000 Israelites. For what? For David numbering the Lord's people. So the Lord can kill tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. All right. Just for how Esau is trying to number the Lord's people. Just for that. That's one reason. On a long list of why this devil got to go and why this devil will be judged. Okay. This is the book of Revelation chapter 11. In verse 18, Salakia, I got this sweatshirt on. Let me get a little bit more. Oh, comfortable, it's hot as hell. Revelations 11 and 18, it says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Okay? Who's ruling this earth? Who's destroying this earth? It's not everybody. It's not all mankind. All mankind is, is, is not giving orders to people to get in a plane and spread chemtrails. All mankind is not fracking, taking the oil out of the earth. All mankind is not splicing seeds. Okay? This is the working of the devil. This is the devil's doing. So he's the one that needs to be destroyed. He's the one that needs to be judged. It says the earth is the defiled because of the inhabitants thereof. The earth is defiled because of the people that's ruling. In the book of Sirach, the 10th chapter says, as the judge is, so is his people. As the ruler of the people, so, so you know, roughly paraphrasing, let's just grab it. Let's see. I gotta, man, I gotta drain the main vein like a mug, bruh. Of course, well, we can just get through some more precepts. Sirach chapter 10, because I don't want to pause it. I'm at the gym right now, outside of the gym. <sighs> Trying to get this work in before we get this work in, you know. This is the book of Sirach chapter 10 and verse 4. It says, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. Nope, that's not it. Uh, Sirach chapter 10 
In verse 2, it says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So it starts with Esau, Edom. He's the reason why this earth is in the state that it's in. It's not Pookie and Ray Ray. It's not Pookie and Ray Ray's fault that there's a hole in the ozone layer. That there's an island of trash in the ocean two times bigger than Texas. That's not Pookie's fault. That's not Hector and Jose's fault. Okay? That's Esau's fault. The devil that the Bible speaks of. The man whose face is on the money. The man who rules this world. That's whose fault it is. Let's read this revelation again. Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry. And thy wrath is come. And the time of the dead. That they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets. And to the saints. And them that fear thy name. The prophets fear the name of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. The saints of the Lord is coming in the name of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. The true servants, the true worshipers. It's coming in the name of the heavenly father, Yahweh, and the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. If they ain't coming in that name, they ain't true prophets. They ain't true servants. Okay? And them that fear thy name, small and great, and should it destroy them which destroy the earth. And should destroy them which destroy the earth. Okay? And that's, that, and that's been happening under this devil's rulership. Under this devil's authority. Alright. That's why in due season. If we kept reading that Sirach. In due season the Lord will set up. One over the earth that is profitable. This devil is unprofitable to everyone and everything. As it says in the book of Proverbs. The 29th chapter. It says. When the righteous bear rule. The people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule. The people mourn. Everything is mourning. Everything is in a state of mourning. The earth is mourning. The earth is languishing. Because this devil, that's in rulership. Now let's go to the law. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 10, uh, chapter 20. I'm going to start at verse 10. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Now, this is something that is promoted. Adultery is promoted here in this society. OK, a woman being able to have multiple men. All right. Dating. Right. Going from man to 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 man. To man. Some women is involved. Woman on woman. Completely against the Bible. Completely against the scriptures. But got the nerve to say this is a God-fearing country. On the dollar bill it says, in God we trust. I believe it was Reagan. He, he deemed the Bible as the law of the land. But they promote everything... That's against the Bible in this society. This law being one of them. This is a law that if found out, if guilty of, you are to be put down. You are to be put to death. You're spirited. You're supposed to go back to the spiritual realm. If you're on this earth doing this, you're not. You, this, this will get you kicked off the earth. But here it is. It's promoted in this society and it's incentivized in this society by who? The devil that the Bible speaks of, Esau, Edom, who's he's the one, he's the one that's calling the shots. He's the one that's making the rules. Let's jump down to the same chapter, Leviticus 20 and verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. This is also another, this is clearly outlawed in the Bible. Being a, uh, a, a, a H, you know, H O M O clearly against the scriptures, clearly outlawed in the Bible, but it's promoted here in this society, specifically over here in the Western hemisphere, specifically over here in America to the point where they give you, they give you a whole month to celebrate being a H O M O. 
being an abomination. Okay? You will be in the book of Nahum, it says that the Lord will not at all acquit the wicked. You will be held accountable. You will be held accountable for all the wickedness that you have done upon the planet Earth. Okay? Again, the list goes on and on and on just from the census. Just you trying to count the Lord's people. You can get fucked up. Then we just brought out Leviticus 20 and 10. Leviticus 20 and 13. These are only a couple laws that we went into and this devil's breaking them. As we continue to go into the law, he, he's not upholding any of them. In the book of Psalms, it says that he cast the Lord's law behind, the wicked cast the Lord's law behind him. Okay? Wicked. Complete opposite of godliness, complete opposite of righteousness. Okay? And we've seen how the Lord deals with a society that promotes sexual immorality. Like adultery that we just read in Leviticus. Like sodomy that we just read here in Leviticus. Second Peter chapter two and verse five, it says, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. OK, the world, the Lord brought the Lord destroyed that whole that whole society back in Noah's time, saving only eight souls, millions of people, men, women, children, grandmas and grandpas. Grandbabies, fine women, ugly women. Okay. Toddlers, preteens. Lord, wipe them all out, saving only Noah and his household. All right. Why? Because of the wickedness. It says that the Lord was not at all in their thoughts. And we see the same thing here in this society today. These people are not thinking about the Lord. These people are not thinking about the laws of the Bible. They into, they into everything that's outlawed in the Bible. They're into adultery. They're into sodomy. That's just a couple things. You go into their diet. These people brag about seafood. Eating bottom feeders. Creatures that's full of, literally full of shit. Okay. Shrimp, they eat shit. That's their diet. It's shit. A lobster. A crab. These are all scavengers. These are bottom feeders. A lobster and a crab, these, th those are water bugs. Okay? That's the roach of a sea, of the sea. All right. And these people boast and brag. They posting it all on their social media. They doing whole YouTube videos. Just eating abominations. Great judgment and destruction is coming upon this, this world. Especially here in America. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse five. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death and destruction for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming to see the wickedness that has prospered here in this society it's too much 
And that's why we know that the Lord is going to bring salvation very, very soon. Because we can't continue to be on this earth like this, man. We can't continue to coexist with, with, with wickedness like this, man. It's all around us. It said that the Lord hasteth to take Enoch away so that the wickedness would not taint his soul. Roughly paraphrasing this in Wisdom of Solomon. Someone can post it if they know where it's at. Hasted to take him away. Right? For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. That's why plagues is going to come upon this place. That's why the sword, famine, death and destruction is going to come upon this place because it's wicked. As it says in the book of 1 John, the whole world lieth in wickedness. Majority of these people is going to perish. The Lord is going to reduce the population. Okay? The Lord's about to start taking people out in a great number. Motherfuckers think 20, you know, 30 people perish in a shooting is, is something bad. That goes viral. Right? It's going to be hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions. And eventually billions of people the Lord is going to delete off this off the face of the earth. There be many more of them that perish than of them that shall be saved, as the scriptures say. All right. It says that the slain of the Lord shall be many from one end of the earth to the other. Why? Because of the wickedness. Judgment is coming. That's the time we live in there. Ecclesiastes says there's a time for everything under the sun. A time of peace and a time of war. We're not in a time of peace. We're in a time of war. A time of, uh, to laugh and a time to mourn. We're in a time of mourning. There's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Okay? I'm going to start wrapping it up because um, when you got to go, you got to go. The second Peter chapter 2 and verse 6, it says, In turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes... Condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after. And I'm not <laughs> just in case you just now tuned in. I'm not fucking saying I got to go take a shit or anything like that. I just got to I got to take a leak. I got to take a leak. It's, it's flesh, man. Ain't shit. As soon as I start the lesson, now all of a sudden I got to I got to go leak. But we just keep on pushing through. Second Peter 2 and 6, it says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. All right? So you, you heard what happened to the last security guard, right? You heard what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities, all right? The three neighboring cities that the Lord rained fire upon. For what? For their sexual immorality, for... For their sexual immorality, for their uh, sodomy, for their bestiality. These are all things that's going on in this society now. So what do you think the Lord is going to do to this? You didn't you didn't take heed to the warning. You didn't take heed to the you didn't take heed to the um, example that the Lord left behind. Look, you live this way. This is what happens. OK. You want to be a Bati boy, a Sodomite? Fire is going to come down upon this society. These are just a couple reasons why this place got to go. This is the book of Zechariah 2 and 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts. After the glory hath after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of that toucheth the apple of his eye. You touch the apple of the Lord's eye, man. Alright. And I say this one for last, because you touch the Lord's people, you touch his sons. Not only are you spreading wickedness all over the world, not only are you destroying the earth, alright, because you don't know how to rule. Because you're not fit to rule. Because you're a peasant. But you touch John Wick's dog. Alright. 
If you know that movie, The Reference, them dudes went in there and touched John Wick's dog, killed John Wick's dog, stole his car, and that's when John Wick, he went on a killing spree. Okay? Well, that's what the Lord is about to do. He's about to get payback. He's about to recompense swiftly all his enemies that touched the apple of his eye. You touched his woman? Being the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, you touched his children? The nation of Israel, so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're going to have to pay. This is Revelation chapter 13 and verse... Nine, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints thereof. You touch the Lord's people, you got to pay for that, man. You let the Lord's people in the captivity, your ass is going in chains. Says that the Lord scourgeth us, but punish our enemies a thousand times more. And we coming in at a time where that cup is going to be passed on to you. Lamentations, the fourth chapter. Um, Alright, this is going to be the last precept This is Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16 It says, therefore all they that devour thee Shall be devoured And all thine adversaries Every one of them shall go into captivity And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil And all that prey upon thee Will I give for a prey And this is the patience of the faith of the saints That we just read Alright this is how Israel was going to be restored. This kingdom is going to be destroyed. This kingdom is going to be judged. And then the remaining heathens are going to be bound. Chains will be put on their neck. All right. And we'll sever out continual employment. Put their ass to work. It's time to rebuild our planet. Home base. Okay. So having that said, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechachorash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rechachorash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. The thumb of Shnakabah lies according to Shara, like it ever honest to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labachir, Shara, which is peace and love to of Israel. Shalom, Achim, brothers, keep on pushing. Stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nigh and redemption is near to we believe. Shalom.